Hello everyone, this is Alejandro and on this tutorial we will see how to create an interactive toggle button. As you can see here, when I click on this button, it toggles from one state to another, which is really nice. So we will see how to create this micro interaction on the spine. Alright, so the first step will be to create our toggle shape, right? So I'm going to use this same rectangle that we had here and I'm going to adjust the size. Uh, this is going to be 128 as width and 64 units as height. Then I'm going to add round corners and also extrusion, 8 units and also 8 units on bevel and seats. Um, size right and then i'm going to add the font i'm going to move the light to this side now i'm going to create a sphere this sphere is going to be maybe something like 48 48 48 i'm going to make sure to put this on 32 zero on y and maybe something like 28 so it's going to be a little inside there but we will never see that so let's go back to this view here so now that we have our shape working let's just start adding a few other items so we need a background object which is going to be just a really huge rectangle we're going to reset its position and we're going to put it um, we are going to lock this object but you know what for that let's just make it even bigger something like that i think that will work then let's lock it um, that's gonna be our background so let's uh change a little this background here to make it uh, a little darker so it's gonna be maybe something like that so this button is gonna be a little darker perhaps something like this yeah i think that should work so let's use like an overlay here for this material Okay, now let's put it more like this. So uh, again, the background should be the rectangle. So let's rename it and let's change the color just a little bit to be a little more blue. I think that would be better. Let's also change the shininess so it doesn't reflect the light that way. And let's also re reduce a little how much, maybe like 50%. I think that would be good enough. Um, now let's increase, actually, you know what? Maybe like 70 should work and do something like this and also going to create another light that is going to be on the back um, it's going to be creating a little rim light on this object here so this light is going to have like a bigger intensity something like that it's going to be creating this little rim here you can see here this object has like a little rim there and also i want this object to have maybe a little gradient so it's going to be something let's see something like this um should be like a simple gradient not something big and it should be like a smooth transition right so this should be maybe um let's see perhaps it could be like a little green or maybe like more purple yeah, some purple here as well maybe you can put something like that so yeah this is gonna be it's gonna be something like very subtle it's not gonna be affecting that much of the shape and let's just keep playing a little with the values i think perhaps it could be more like this it would make more sense if we change the color of this sphere so let's go with the sphere now let's also use overlay here for this sphere i think for the sphere i actually don't want it to receive that much light from this so i'm going to uh, reduce it a lot and then for this base color i think it may, we can use like a gradient here as well so um, let's use a gradient that is perhaps something quite like this let's make it smaller okay that's starting to look good yeah something like that and then let's change the color right so maybe perhaps this will be a little like um kind of like a dark yeah something like dark i think that will be nice um a little yellow there then let's duplicate this gradient and let's put it on the other side but this time it should be more bright color and the last color here should be maybe something like this and so let's see maybe perhaps this could be more like blue right i think that would be interesting let's see so let's move this, this gradient to be like this and maybe it's smooth yeah that doesn't look bad so let's uh, make it more saturated. I feel like it's not really saturated right now. So um, let's maybe more bright. 
think that would be nice. Um, yeah, so that means that this other color could be even more. Yeah, something like that. That would be cool. So it could be maybe a little blue, bluish, maybe. Now this one feels like it needs a little more saturation as well. So let's give it a little more. And let's adjust a background here. So now we have. All right, so we have like a first state for this uh, sphere. So um, this is gonna be called a toggle background. And what we want is that we want to create like another state for these objects, right? But first, we want that we, when we touch the sphere, it moves to this side, and when we touch this side, the sphere moves back to, this origi to the original position. What we're going to do is that we're going to create a couple of cubes right in the front of everything. So let's just, let's not wor don't worry too much about how they they look. It could be something like this, and maybe it could be more like this. That should be fine. And then another one on this side here. Okay, so these cubes are going to be invisible, so we can just import of them, we can disable the visibility, and this is gonna be right. And this is gonna be left, right? And also we're going to disable shadows so they don't cast any shadows. Right, so now they're invisible. So what I'm going to do is that when you click on this, the left uh, cube, we are going to trigger here. So when you click on the left cube, we're going to trigger a transition from the sphere, right? So mouse down event and then we will look on the sphere and we will move we create like a new state for the sphere and on this state he will be the opposite right so minus 32 okay so now when you click on the right cube we will have another event so it's gonna be for the sphere it's gonna be moving to the base state it's gonna be a sprint transition so it's gonna be a bouncy animation and then here we need to do the same for the sphere. It's going to this case transition to a state and then a sprint transition. And now what's going to happen when we play is that if we click here, and then we click and it's here. Now that's what is happening, right? So actually the way I did it is not that nice because then that means that I need to click the sphere so I actually think it's better if when I click this one it's going to move it to the state one and when I click this one it's going to move to the basic state so now if I click here it moves there so I always clicking on the on the empty space so I think that's that's better actually all right so now what we need to do is that we need to change the look and feel of this toggle when you click on it right so we need to do a couple of things here so the first thing is that this sphere is going to be changing its color as well and not just the position when we are in the in the state one it's going to be looking a little different all right so what we want to do is that we want to change the gradient here so for example this is the base color so let's make it maybe more like this and maybe perhaps it could be bright and also for the toggle background we want a different state and in this state we're going to change the color to be more like maybe something like this right something more like purple now let's uh, go back to the sphere perhaps we need to make the the base color a little different so maybe this should be more darker and this should be more bright kind of looking interesting right now you can also make it like this so it's uh, looking really interesting right now now we also want to change the background color and let's create a new state for it so we can create a new color for it and in this new state it could look like yeah i think something like this something that looks like in the same spectrum of colors yeah, something along the lines, that should be cool. 
So actually I'm going to reduce a little the light color. So it's gonna be something like this, I think. Right now it does it does look a lot better. So let's see how this is working right now. So if I click here, it becomes bright. But now the other objects are not changing. So what we need to do is that when we click on the left side, we also need to add a background. So it's gonna be changing to step one. And it's gonna be in this case a linear transition and perhaps maybe 0.3 seconds. And also we want to add here the toggle background, which is going to change to step one. And in this case, it should be a sprint transition. Now we need to do the opposite. So here, so it will be the same, the background. In this case, it should be base state. And here it will be more like linear and then 0.3 seconds. And now the toggle background, which should be again to the base state returning. And then um, here will be a sprint animation. Okay, so now uh, let's see if it is working. Okay, it is working, but I think I made a mistake. So let's see what, what is wrong here. So right now it should be switching to a different color. So I think what I did is I inverted the the position of the state. So here it should be transitioning to base state. And in here it should be transitioning to a state. And now when we play this, it is changing. Yeah, that's super fun. Well, that's how you can build an interactive button like this. It really is that simple. But there is another extra detail that you can have in something like this, which is if you create like a point light, for example, right here, a point light, you can uh, move the point light in the C direction, and then we can change like the size of like, the distance of this point light, something like this and perhaps yeah something like that you can see there and now let's add an event to this slide so it's going to be like follow right so uh what is going to happen if we put the light here let's play the light is going to be moving with your mouse so now it feels a little even more interesting right another trick that we can use is that we can enable um, hover rotation when we are in the play mode so for example i can go here on the let's for options and enable orbit camera and then i can put here something like them right i can also uh, turn this to one touch and we can disable panning you can also disable page scroll this settings actually works very well for like a mobile device if you're looking this experience for a mobile device so and also in the hover it doesn't work for a mobile device, but the hover is more like for the desktop experience. So for example, here, you can see that when I move now my mouse, is kind of like following. In fact, if we, if we change it to the default, which is 20, it might be even more um, obvious, right? You can see here, kind of like moving. And then uh, if I click here, it's moving there and it's still like following my mouse. So yeah, just a little micro detail interaction there. But yeah, that's how you can build uh, this toggle. So feel free to keep playing with the colors and different lighting techniques, and you can achieve a lot more effects if you want to. Yeah.